Hello and welcome back to another one of my videos. Hello, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Lanice. I'm a nurse and I do these cool little nursing videos. If you are not new here, thank you for tuning into another one of my videos. You already know what I'm going to say. Thank you all for tuning into this video because you could be anywhere in the world, baby, but you are here with me and that is greatly, greatly appreciated. All right. So before we get into the topic at hand, I want to first ask that if you have not already, if you're not a subscriber here, baby, what are you waiting on? I'm trying to figure that out. Like, I'm, 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 that's a serious question, not hypothetical at all. What are you waiting on? Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button because you already know you're going to like the content. And if you do like the content, I just ask that you please share it with someone else that you feel like it could benefit, you know, just, just to help the channel grow. You know, your sis is trying to help the channel grow, okay? So now that we got that order of business out of the way, we are going to go ahead and get straight on with the topic. So the topic at hand, I thought would be a wonderful topic since it is the holiday time everybody's out there spending money lots of sales going on I felt like we should talk about things that I have either been influenced to purchase or I have almost been influenced to purchase as a registered nurse okay as a woman as an african-american I am in both of the highest consumer categories which means that we're probably also pretty easily influenced but being a registered nurse I have noticed that there are select items that a a lot of nurses, whether they're black, white, Asian, Hispanic, whoever, we have all been influenced to purchase a select few items. And so we're going to talk about those items. And if I have purchased those items, I'm going to give you my honest review on these items, but we're gonna go ahead and get straight into the topic. So this will also be a three part series. So today I'm only going to go over five items. And I will say that these items, not in any particular order, but I will say that these have to be the top five items that I have seen other nurses many nurses have purchased these items tell me down in the comments below if you have been subject to purchase any of these and you have been influenced by whether it's nurse talk it's Instagram nurses whoever you get your content from if you have been influenced to purchase any of these items I just ask that you comment down below we're gonna get this list going I want to see if it's just me or if everybody else is like this out there too so number one we're, you already know what I'm gonna kick it off with Starbucks I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. I'm running on two hours of sleep, four cups of coffee, and a fucking dream, baby. Let's go. Talk too low. How could I possibly be inconspicuous? I cannot tell you the countless amount of nurses that I see coming in in the morning or coming in in the afternoon on night shift with a Starbucks cup in hand. I don't care if I open the hydration station and I don't care if I'm looking around the nurses station. All I see are Starbucks cups. Now don't get me wrong. Don't come for me in the comments. Don't get mad at me because I am not a Starbucks girl because for one, I don't want to spend the money and two, I do not want to wake up early enough to try to make it through the Starbucks line before going to work. Um, however, I, I am an avid coffee drinker and I will not lie, Starbucks is pretty good. However, the way that it has influenced nurses, I will say it hasn't quite gotten to me yet. What I will say is how I do combat that, being a very avid, being a coffee drinker, I have a cup of coffee almost every day, whether I'm working day shift or I'm working night shift or I'm not working at all. I have a, a cup of coffee a day. I have learned to make my own coffee recipes. I know how to make my own chai tea latte. I know how to make my own matcha latte. And I will say they're pretty dang on good. And I just know what I like whenever it comes to coffee. So that's how I'm able to combat the influence of Starbucks on my life. Because if I let y'all influence me, I would be going to Starbucks every day. Like who out there is an everyday Starbucks drinker? Because there are a lot of y'all. Okay. It's a lot of y'all. All right. So we will go into number two. Now this item, I cannot lie. I have been influenced into purchasing this item, I will actually go and get them real quick so I can show you this item. Be right back. All right, on cloud shoes. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still want to party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Nikki. All of the. All know I love my on clouds, but my my pair that I'm wearing 
currently at work is fall colored. So they're like a blue and an orange and they're the on cloud stratus. Freaking love them. Review of some of my favorite shoes, the on cloud shoes. Now these are dirty because I do run in them also, which was the main reason I got the on cloud shoes. But I will say that we will just group shoes into one category because it's on cloud, Hoka, and clothes. Now on cloud and Hoka are catered towards both healthcare workers and runners alike. Clothes is more catered towards healthcare workers. And I will say that these campaigns that they are running for towards healthcare workers with these different sneaker brands, I mean, how can you not be influenced? How can you not be influenced? But again, I decided to go with the on cloud because I enjoy running. It's a passion of mine, but I also needed a shoe that I can stand up in and walk in all day. So I believe the pair that I got is the on cloud Klaus Janamis. I think that's what it's called. Don't quote me. Um, but I paid about $180 for them. And when I tell you, I still rather work in my Crocs. I still rather work in my Crocs. Crocs. I, I do get my money's worth out of the on clouds because again, I run. However, the, the particular shoe that I got, maybe it's just more catered towards running and not walking or standing up all day. Because this shoe, when I first got it, I felt like all of the pressure or all of my balance was put onto my heels. And my after a while, like my feet would begin to hurt whenever I would wear these shoes at, to work all day. And I wasn't even working in the hospital when I began work, when I bought these shoes. I was working at the surgery center. So I did do a lot of walking, but not half as much walking as I do at the hospital. And it may, they were uncomfortable for me. And I prefer to wear my $40 Crocs to work. And, and the Crocs were on sale, so they were more like 35, okay? So my Crocs are more comfortable to me. Now, maybe again, I got the wrong shoe by on cloud, but it's not for me. But all you see on the nursing floor are on clouds, hokas, and clothes to the point to where healthcare is a very, it's, it's a profitable area for these shoes because everybody has them on all right so just do with that information what you might okay when you're a new nurse you don't have to get the on clouds you don't have to get the newest pair of hokas you know what what death to the days i guess of when people are wearing sketchers new balances reeboks like those brands are so outdated now you're I don't, I don't see very many young nurses wearing any of those brands anymore it's usually the excuse me the older nurses who are wearing the sketchers the new and the new balances ain't it fun After watching that TikTok, you already know what item number three is going to be, the bog bag. Now, I won't lie, when the bog bags first hit the market, I wanted one. And maybe it's because they look like Crocs, but in purse form, I don't know. But I wanted a bog bag so badly. I love how you can add the pins and make it your own creative flair. I love that keepsake type of bag, I, I, I do. However, I did not fall victim to this influence, but it is out there y'all it is out there and you know I might fall victim to this one because I believe the bog bag is so amazingly cute okay all right number three that was the bog bag this is the incredible moment a Stanley Cup seems to have not only survived a car fire but also still had ice left inside still has ice in it Danielle Marie Lettering posted a TikTok on Wednesday that displayed the aftermath of the accident, and despite her car having a tremendous amount of debris all around, her copper-colored Stanley stayed completely intact. Viewers were left in complete disbelief at Danielle's discovery, and to everyone's surprise, only one day after posting the video, the president of Stanley took to TikTok to respond to Danielle's video, in which he said that Stanley were not only going to send Danielle some cups, but they were also going to replace her car. Tell me you don't want one. 
Before I even saw this TikTok go viral, I already wanted a Stanley Cup. I promise, I promise, I promise. It was not, I'm not that easily influenced to just see that one TikTok and not want one. But when I see how many different colors they come in and how many different nurses are walking around with a Stanley Cup, I don't really feel like a nurse. I don't feel like a nurse without a Stanley Cup because everybody got one. And after seeing that, I want one too. So of course, Stanley Cup had to make the top five. Had to make the top five because if not, I mean, it, it, who's creating the list? Is a nurse even creating the list? Can't be, cannot be. All right. I can't say that I don't have a cart full of stuff on the Figs website, but I will say I have not purchased anything from Figs just yet. Now me, I'm a pocket kind of girl. Fig scrubs don't have enough pockets for me, but if there is a scrub brand out there that costs just as much as Figs and they have a lot of pockets and they fit like Figs, baby, I'm in. I'm in because everybody got Figs. Everyone has Figs. I mean, it's to the point now where Figs ads are just as good as Fashion Nova ads. The girls that get it, get it. Okay, the girls that get it, get it. But number five, of course, would have to be fig scrubs. Now me, myself, personally, lately, I, I, my Walmart scrubs, I got some scrubs from Walmart because I was in Texas and I didn't have any scrubs and I needed some real quick. Those same Walmart scrubs are still lasting me. Are they as cute as figs? No, but I've had them for years, wash them all the time, dry them all the time. They still fit the same. They are not faded. They work wonderfully. Now, I also have a pair of Dicky scrubs that I absolutely love they have lasted me a long time my Cherokee scrubs eh, nah Cherokee the pair of scrubs that I got from Cherokee haven't really lasted over time like the Walmart and the Dickies have so I will say that you can find a decent pair of scrubs that last for a while that are not fixed that are reasonably priced okay so if you're a new nurse if you are someone out there that is easily influenced I'm telling you if you you don't have it don't spend it on these fig scrubs because these fig scrubs as are hard to beat hard to beat hard to beat okay so those are my top five items that I feel like nurses have been influenced to purchase we will continue on with the series in the next episode I ain't gonna tell y'all when that is because I want y'all to subscribe so you and hit the notification button so it's like a Beyonce kind of drop you know like you don't know when it's coming but you just you just know something's coming but if you hit the notification button you would already know that okay you would you would be the first to know excuse me let me correct myself you would be the first to know so go ahead and hit that notification button again if you like the content I ask that you just please share it to someone else that you feel like would enjoy it if this channel has been educational or informational for you I ask that you please just subscribe all right so we will I guess close this out like I'm not good with goodbyes y'all I'm not good with goodbyes I don't even know how to end it I am not good with happy endings but I love to end it on a happy ending so we will go ahead and head out peace